Sup guys, it's Desro. Welcome to Bronze to Master, episode 3. Actually, I just pressed the record button, but I forgot to do something, so I'm gonna take you guys with me to check what exactly I missed. And what I missed is uh, which builds I did in, in my Bronze to Master, episode 2. So I'm gonna pull it up right here. Um, so I did... Oh, I, sh I didn't put the matchups. Macro Nexus, hold on. Macro Nexus. What matchup was that? So I did a Macro Nexus PVT, Macro Nexus into Proxy Stargate. And then at 12, the Zenitor PVT beating Proxy FI Rex. I probably didn't have to watch the VOD there to realize what matchup it was. Uh, I think that's another PVT right here. And there's two more at 31. What matchup was that? I think that's another PVT. Another PVT. Jesus Christ. And the last but not least, it was a PVZ, I think. It was a PVZ. All right. So we've done those builds. Uh, I have a new uh, macro build versus Terran. Uh, I have a new macro build versus Terran. My PvP is probably my weakest right now, so hopefully we don't get too many games. I still have a build or two to show you guys, but it's still my weakest. So last season, um, I finished uh, 21. Um, finished 21 in Silver League, but uh, it was when I think it was locked, uh, I think. And so that's why I didn't do another Bronze to Master until now. But I'm going to be rolling these out once a week uh, now that the ladder is unlocked. So anyway, we were in Silver. Let's see where we get placed this season. Uh, we're not going to do any vetoes. They changed. Since the last recording, they added a gold map at the Natural on Prion. They added rocks at the third on Lerilac. And on Central Protocol, you cannot spawn Vertical. And they took out the back rocks. So they adjusted the map just a little bit. It should be a little bit better. Um, yeah, it should be better. We'll see. Uh, we'll see how it goes. That's where you always 16 gate gas into 19 nexus. Uh... That's the most common build. There are builds where you'll Nexus first. There are builds where you'll play one base a lot more. Uh, if I could get some feedback on the sound in the chat, because I increased the volume quite a bit, and I don't know if it's too loud for my voice. So we're playing versus a Zerg right now. I'm going to show you guys my uh, bread and butter PVZ, which is 3 gate adept. 7 at depth pressure into uh, Stargate. I might have done a similar version in episode 1, but this is the most updated version. It's good? Alright. It feels very loud for me, but if you guys say that it's good, I'll take your word for it. Alright, so we scout after the gate. We could get cheesed here, so we're going to play uh, as if we were getting cheesed to make sure that it's proper all right so the best way to defeat a cheese which is a uh, early zergling pressure is to make a zealot and then cancel it here at 19 we scout at the top of her base to see if there's an overlord scouting in which there doesn't seem to be one now he might be cross and we'll find that out right here with my uh with my probe so he is cross. So what we're going to do here now is we're going to put down the core, just like we would normally. And then my second pylon has to be in my main base. Because otherwise there's no way... Uh, there's no way really to defend it if he's doing 14-14. Then we're going to make the Zealot. He's scouting me with a drone. Uh, could be to... Because he's cheesing and he wanna, wants to make sure what I am. Also, when they scout you with a drone, you gotta be careful that they don't steal your second gas by putting a probe onto the gas. Oh, it seems like he's trying to take a third, so we'll probably cancel the Zealot. If there's an archery here, yeah, we'll cancel the Zealot. We don't need it. Now, the Cyber finishes. 
I'm gonna be chrono boosting an adept. So I see that he's mining gas. So my adept won't be able to survive out there indefinitely, but I, I hope that's the right word. Um, after my first adept, we're gonna go for a uh, stalker. I'm dropping frames. I haven't dropped any frames on the stream. My uh, my game was lagging a little bit, but it seems okay now. All right, so after the adept comes out, you chrono warp gate. Now we're gonna need to get set up for the wall. The wall on this map is a little bit more complicated than other maps. So you're gonna put the pawn on in the middle right here. Whoa. I'm like struggling with my hotkeys for whatever reason. There should be a, uh, an overlord coming this way. I'm gonna try to intercept it. Okay, so we have the stalker right now. Whoops. Try to kill this probe. Gate, and then we'll put another gate here. Nice. So we're catching the overlord right now. So I'm putting down uh, two, three gates total. Still gonna scout with the adept. Okay, once I kill that, I just come back in with the stalker. Uh, mothership could have been done a little bit earlier than now. So Warpgate is going to finish. He's making a lot of queens right now. I uh, probably should have just gone home with the Adept. Or not shaded him. Well, if I can save it, that'd be nice. There's a, an early World Charm. I don't know if it's just for defense. It could be. Okay, Warpgate's finished, so I, we don't need to chrono that. We're going to grab the third. I don't know if I made a build on this uh, guide. I don't think I did, but I'll tell you guys the timings. So my third is supposed to be at 4.15, so I'm 10 seconds late. After that, my stargates are at 4.45. And then the gases at my third are at 4.55. Alright, now we can roll out with these adepts. Depending on what we see, we do not have to commit. That's the beauty of this build. Okay. Now, one thing you have to worry about is sometimes, even if it's crossed, they might try to uh, drop inside your main base. Next up... I need to make more adepts. And then I, at uh, 6 minutes, I need double robo. So we're gonna shade in at the natural. Try to take out as many... Uh... Oh yeah, it's not going so well for him. Okay, so here when we shaded, we just try to walk away from the roaches so that we survive as long as possible. Oh, I could have micro that just a little bit better. So he's got a lot of queens and I don't have that many more adepts right now. What we can do though is we can leave. We can just leave and we'll come back with more adepts. So an overlord has been... Oh, I forgot to put probes on gas here. That's going to cost me a lot. Quite a lot. Oh, and I, 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 I didn't leave with those. Yeah. We'll, blame, we'll blame it on uh, having to talk so much. Okay. So I want two robos. I want a forge. And I want to continue Phoenix production. We're going to go back in with the adepts. We're going to get a few more gates. Okay. So if he doesn't have uh, spore crawlers right now, it's going to hurt him quite a lot. Yes. So he hasn't added spores. So always make sure to walk away. Okay. 
here. We're just gonna kill as many as we can. Overlords are better to kill than uh, drones. I'm using old position here. There's finally a spore crawler, but it's not in the right position. We're just gonna make him run again. Okay, we're gonna get robo uh, immortals here. We need more gates. We're gonna need the uh, Twi Council. So the cool thing about the Phoenixes is that any counter attack, I'll just be able to lift uh, the Phoenixes or the Roaches, rather. Just like that. So counter attacks are gonna be pretty weak by him. Oh, whoops! Whoops! Wow, I really messed that up. Okay, so I'm making uh, immortals. Whoops. Getting the Templar Archive for Archons. We can lift a few drones here. So he's gonna come to attack me soon. But yeah, at this point, he just doesn't have the army to match mine. So we're gonna make... Um... Oh, and GG. So, just to, to round it out, like, the Phoenixes are here to pick up the Queens, kill Overlords, pick up the Hydras. Hydras is the best to kill. And then behind that, I have the Immortals ready to beat Lurkers, ready to beat Ravagers, ready to beat Roach. Then I have my Archons to be able to tank versus Lings, uh, to be able to do splash damage versus Hydras and so on. And with the early game uh, Adept shenanigans, it's just very useful. Uh, the Adepts are really what keeps Zerg in check with their economy. like. They can't drone up too much and it keeps them at home. And the phoenixes, like, I made 11 here. Before, it used to be 8, but you can make more as long as you micro them really well. So, it's a, it's not an easy build at all, but it's something that's really worth practicing and really good as well to execute. Oh, we got promoted to plat, so... We went from silver to plat. Alright, so some people told me there was some lag issue on the stream, so I closed Skype. Maybe that's gonna help. Uh, so yeah, this guy was diamond. So bronze two master already plat after uh, what twenty games and uh already plat those were like when i was losing so i this is how many games is this two four six eight ten twelve fourteen fifteen so fifteen zero oh yeah this is where like i was trying to leave but the guy left before me and then all those weeks ago don't really matter back on the whirlwind <laughs> all right Let's go for one more. Let's see if there's any uh, strategy questions. All right, so we have uh, Terran on Rune of Ceres. I'm going to be doing the new Blink build that I have. The reason it's new is because the version I was doing before that was uh, not not optimal. Let me just lower uh, the volume just a little bit because it bothers me. 
Like, I have to, like, shout. That's how I feel. Alright, so we're spawning in the top left position. Um, it doesn't mean much, but depending on where our opponent is, if I think the best spawning location for Terran is bottom uh, left. So it would be vertical spawns. I think it's really good for Terran. Um, there are different playstyles a Protoss can do, given these positions. Oracle and Two Tempest is one of them. But we'll see. That's not what we're going for anyway. Uh, simply because I did it last uh, episode. So I want I really want to switch it up. Best way to beat Lurkers. So, as you saw last game, uh, that's just a really good way to beat Lurkers. So you go Charge Lot, Immortal, uh, Archons. The Immortals do really nice damage versus the... Oh! Versus the Lurkers and the Charge Lot Archon are pretty good versus Roach Hydra. If you have Immortal support. So he's going for a Reaper build, which is very, very standard. So the difference with the build compared to what I was doing before is we delay the Mothership Core quite a lot. And we rely on the Adept to defend, uh, to defend the Reaper. Here I'm playing with my probe at the back of his base. Because I want to buy as much time as I can for his Reaper to kill my probe. If his Reaper does not come, uh, I can just try to kill an SCV and it'll be nice. So the Reaper did come. I'm going to try to run away. Alright, so as soon as the Cyber is finished, I'm going to be Chrono boosting an Adept. Alright. And the follow-up here is going to be a Robo. It's quite early, but it's quite useful. And then after that, I'm going to be making a Twi Council. Because he is uh, going for a Reaper. Oh. Because he's going for a Reaper, I'm making a Stalker right now, but that might have not been necessary. So I cancelled the healing there with my probes, which is quite nice. Um, yeah, I'll let the Stalker finish. It doesn't set me back that much. If you can get away without making the Stalker, if you can get away with, with not making the Stalker, it's even better. So Observer is going to tell us what he's doing. I'm going to Chrono the Observer. Um... I'll hold off on making uh, a pun on. Whoops, hold on. Yes, executor. Okay. So we're scouting him right now. Oh. Oh. Okay, I'm surprised why he's still doing this. So at 3.30, I was supposed to add my gates, but I got confused a little bit because I wanted to have, like, the perfect notes for the build. At 42 supply, I'm grabbing the gases. I'm gonna add the mothership as well. So I don't know. Okay, yeah, there's a second Rex. Oh, but there is a factory. So maybe we're playing versus someone that just wants quick medivac to put on pressure with bio. We're gonna bring back the adept. Get another pun on here. The last thing I want is, yeah, that's that's what it looks like. It looks like he just wants to do like early bio pressure. Now, um, I was supposed to warp in stalkers quite like 20 seconds ago, so you can see like my build is far from optimized. We're gonna get a third observer. We're gonna grab the watchtower here, third observer here, second observer at the front of our base. Uh, because he's doing a playstyle like this, some people have asked me, like, what's the best way to beat 5 racks to base? The best way is to make a lot of units. So we're going to add gates. We're going to add stalkers. We're going to go for an immortal. So, blink, adapt, 
uh, Blink Adapt Immortals. And uh, the follow-up, since we're not super rich on gas, is going to be Disruptors. That's what I feel is best in this situation. But I, there might be a better way to play it, but you can still do a lot of damage here. Uh, it looks like he's trying to load up. Let me see. No, he hasn't loaded up yet. Let's get the forge. Let's get a second immortal. Oh, really? He's playing very defensive. Let's try to go poke at him with the stalkers. So I will be making a... Uh, I didn't realize that was a chrono boosting. We'll be making Disruptor. So we'll grab the third now. So I feel like I have enough units. Oh, this is not good at all. Uh, plus one weapon is really important. Because it means you can, I think, two shot Marines. But, oh, wow. Getting sandwiched here is really painful. Oh, I didn't make a disruptor for whatever reason. Could it be the first game where Destro loses and Bronze to Master? Could it be it? Is this how it ends? Or a win streak? So, I don't think it... Oh, yeah, I didn't kill it. I was very close, though. So, I would like to warp in, but I don't have the pylons. So, I'm just waiting. One sentry is really good, by the way. Because they nerfed the... So, we're going to transition into Storm. They nerfed the Marauders. I know he was going this way. Seems he doesn't seem so confident on where where he wants to be and what he wants to do. Ah, I wanted to catch him off guard, but he scanned before uh, getting close, which is smart of him. That's the right way to play. Yeah, that's uh, that's game right there. Okay, so keep upgrading. Get whoops, get storm. So the thing, uh, the, the, the way this game worked out, you can look at this game and be like, oh, Bronze 2 Master is silly. Why are you beating up on Diamond players? Um, but the, the way this game worked out is that the build he did, you need to, you need like a really much better timing. You need to be on the Protoss ass and you need to make him sweat. But instead, he stayed on his side of the map just trying to macro up and the multitasking just wasn't there. So if uh, if you're turn watching this right now and this is the kind of build you like to do, well, rethink the way uh, rethink the way you see PVT because this kind of style is like something like uh, what Pult does quite a lot. And it's strong if your multitasking can keep up. But if you really struggle at dropping, then maybe the style is good because you'll improve at that. But if you're... If it's like, if let's say you're stuck in like plat or diamond as a Terran and you always do this, uh, this build and PVT is your worst, then maybe try to play Factory uh, Liberator or Ass instead. 
because he just didn't put any pressure and so I was allowed to get everything and anything I wanted. There's actually a replay I have uh, for my subs uh, of me beating this versus like a GM level player and it worked out pretty well. So as you can see like the army value, uh, he gets up pretty high but I kept up with him because I didn't, I didn't over probe and I didn't grab my third until... Uh, until this moment right here, I think. All right, guys, I had to uh, I had to fix the stream. The first part of this Bronze Two Master is gonna be laggy, which sucks. But uh, I feel like if I were to just never show you guys those game, it wouldn't be fair. So I'll probably put an annotation at the beginning where like uh, like a disclaimer: the first two games are laggy, but then the third. The rest of the Bronze Master is fine. Just click here if uh, if you want to skip forward. Uh, but yeah, so oh yeah, I forgot to take notes. What was the first? It was uh, whoops. So the first game was a PVZ Macro Adapt Phoenix. Second was a PVT. The second was a PVT, and it was old enough. Uh, five racks with blink adapt immortal disruptor and here we have a pvp on a central protocol honestly I, it might be like the second or third time i play pvp on this map i really hope the lag is fixed for the sake of recording this uh, this episode. Alright, let's scout. So scouted us pretty early. Oh yeah, it can't spawn vertical anymore. I was almost forgot that I was gonna scout vertical so I'm a big fan of uh, gate gas nexus but hmm, I probably should have done it the other way around the, why is there a second probe here I think he just wanted to expand. Man, I really went all out with all those uh, <laughs> those probes. Hmm. We're gonna do uh, three gate or three adapt uh, stargate. And two sky toss. Yeah, let's let's try to run some sky toss. Oh, we'll try to keep this probe alive for as long as possible. I don't know. I've streamed and I've uh, local recorded quite a lot before, and I've never had any issues. Alright, so we're gonna get the stargate. As soon as we have 150 gas, oh, we'll start the music again as well. Oh wow, I made a stalker, that's why I didn't have enough gas. That's a mistake, quite a big one as well. Well, I guess... Uh, he's gonna have to do like a full wall, I think. Like I don't I don't think what he did is very good here. Faith before fear. We give us your Glory okay, to let's the grab table. a third. Okay, 
Okay, get the Oracle. Whoops. We were going to be supply block for the Oracle, so I had to uh, cancel the probe. Okay. Usually what you do is you, like, you don't lose the first Adept, and then you go back in with three, but... That didn't work out this way. Oh, I was supposed to get uh, Robo much earlier as well. Okay, so we have his attention over here. He's going for a Twilight. Oracle is going to come into the main. There's no defense here. Let's get a second Stargate. Killed seven workers, it's quite nice. Yeah, just don't have enough energy to do anything else here. Hmm. Maybe my second Stargate was a little bit too early. Because I don't have any gas right now. So we're going for Sky Toss, remember? Get an immortal, a void ray. Yeah, usually what you do is after. Usually what you do is after eight void rays, you go into carriers. But honestly, I've killed so much that I think like attacking. With six void rays, shouldn't win us the game. Make an observer. That was quite close. I get two cannons at the third. Transfer some. Uh... Okay, so I think he scouted the void rays. We'll bring the mothership. Make a few more workers. Really, like, my goal here is to just kill kill him or cancel the third. Whichever is possible. So I need an observer as well. Try to cast Revelation on his army. I don't know where it will be, though. So he's trying to do... Oh, he photon recharged. So let's get a third or second cannon all right so we did it um but yeah three adapt into an oracle is a very solid build and then you can do a multiple of uh, things after that. You can do uh, Immortal, Void Ray, Seven Gate All In. You can do Immortal, Void Ray into Sky Toss. There's a few ways to play it off. And so uh, it's just a really good build. But yeah, this guy with the Forge didn't make much sense. Uh, that's not something I recommend doing. I don't think it's viable at all. So, I guess it kind of shows why Forge is so, so bad. Like, three, uh, three Adept into Oracle is already so strong versus someone that doesn't open Forge. It's even stronger versus someone that opens Forge.
All right, so we were getting another PvP. Uh, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna run a proxy two gate. It could be, it could be my first loss in Legacy, so I don't think I'm an expert necessarily, but. I don't think I'm an expert at all. But yeah, what you do basically is you make a lot of zealots, and then eventually you'll have stalkers. But I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna have the build right. Scouted me really early. I can't go too far with the probe because I need to put down a core. So he's getting a forge. Which is interesting. We'll have to stay uh, stay alert around our base. And the third gate is not so useful right now. But I'll come into play soon. Two cannons, but it's a really delayed uh, core. I'm honestly just gonna wait for another stalker. I wonder if I can attack the gate from. Uh... Whoops, we should be good though. Oh fuck. I really hope he doesn't have a cannon on the low ground. So this kind of sucks, like I'm losing a lot of mining, but I killed a probe. And I killed a mothership. So he remade another mothership. Should have to be careful, there's no... Uh... Yeah, this game is uh, over. But uh, yeah, basically, like if you're if you're ever versus someone that makes a forge to defend whatever cheese you're throwing at them, 
you always have to keep at the back of your mind that he might try to cannon you back. And so, if uh, if I don't kill his cannon, to be honest, I, I think I could have potentially lost. But once I didn't, then I'm always going to have more stalkers than he does because he's investing into cannons, which... Like, one cannon in the mineral line so the Zalots can do much. And then getting enough gates might have been the way to beat this, but... Uh, like, you can beat this while expanding as well. Like, you don't need the forge. So, at least I don't think you you do need the forge. I don't think you do need, need it. I've seen some players make a forge and a single cannon to buy some time. Because you're not going to have enough production out. But, I usually beat it without making a forge. So, that's some food for thought for you guys trying to uh, beat this uh, strategy. Alright. Last game of, uh, why does your ladder look harder? Um, well, obviously, when you have the knowledge, like, I'm giving you guys the knowledge as I play the game, so it feels a lot easier. Because that's the hardest part, right, when you're playing StarCraft, is knowing what to do and having the speed to execute it. And so when you see me play on this account and these games... I have, I have all the knowledge, I have all the power, and so obviously it looks a lot easier. Alright, so we have a PVT this time. I've done quite a lot. I've done like pretty much everything that I know in this matchup. So it's a little bit weird coming up with uh, new things to execute. It seems like having the speed is easier than having the knowledge. Yes, definitely. You can be quick. You can have like fast hands but slow brain. Or you can have fast brain but slow hands. But having slow hands and fast brain is much better than having slow brain but fast hands. It's a very simplified way to, to explain the situation. We're going to try to grab a really quick third. Like a really quick third. So we'll do Oracle and two a really quick third. So I've done... I've played so many PVTs in this Bronze 2 Master series. That I'm a little bit... Uh, uninspired to do new builds for you guys. So it's a... Oh! I don't think... You know, it's not a Reaper opening. So he went straight into a Reactor. It could be two. Uh, it could be two reapers, but most of the time it's just marines into a factory. Now, if I don't see a factory in this space, it could be a proxy factory, and that's uh, that's trouble. That's definitely concerning. He's gonna trap me in. I think I'm gonna scout with another probe out on the map. Oh, never mind. Let's bring this bad boy back. Kono the adept. Kono the adept. Make a stargate. And then we'll just grab the really quick third. Now, because I know that it's not anything proxied, I can scout with this. So we're delaying the Mothership Core right now. So I don't need it right away. The reason I put the pan on here is because versus a Cyclone, I need to have a pan on at the top of my ramp. a lot of marines let's uh, get some extra gates 
Oh, nice. Okay, so it's going to be Widow Mines. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I misclicked. So we're going to do Oracle and two uh, Phoenixes. The Phoenixes will be to... Whoops. I messed up my camera locations. Phoenixes will be to lift the Widow Mines. And then the Mothership Corps will be to defend a Marine Pressure. Because he could walk Marines across the map, and I think he will do that. Yeah, something is coming. I'm just waiting on uh, waiting on revelation so I can lift the widow mines. Oh Jesus. Alright, it's very sloppy early game for me. From me. It's just would not recommend this to anyone. Bright side is Oracle killed 12 workers. Now, I don't know if there's going to be a second drop. Staying back at home with my mothership might have probably is the best choice here. Still no uh, robo. Let's get some cannons. So I don't have any detection besides the oracle. We're gonna need a lot more gates as well. It's insane how much uh, gas I'm missing. Okay, I need the uh, Twi Council. Twilight Council is up and operational. Phoenixes are ready for defense. Planning is. Yeah, you messed up. So that's good for us. That's really good for us. We'll, we'll take it. I can take and expand. Add some observers. Okay, so he's still here. So I'm gonna need the blink. I'm gonna need storm. I'm gonna need some immortals as well. 
This is my observer. Let's try to get another revelation. Okay. So we know where he is. Our upgrades are pretty decent. I like having phoenixes as it's good versus... Um, it's good versus a single uh, liberator ass, which is really good in general. So yeah, my only concern with my army composition right now is my lack of AoE. And I do not have blink yet. So he's not moving out. We won't complain. We're not gonna make a complaint, a formal complaint. Making sure. Oh, see, I had two here. Whenever you're starved on gas, it's a good thing to just go and look. Okay, so he's grabbing a fourth. He sees my stormers. Gonna chrono the immortal. I'm not chrono boost. I am chrono boosting. Oh. I feel like my chrono boost is not good. I know it's good. So I don't want a Chrono Boost Storm. Okay. I just need more gas at this point. Okay. Vikings. Interesting. Let's add a second Stargate and a Fleet Beacon to not die to Liberators. And as long as we have AoE, we're good. Just one storm, it's gonna clean his army. Just too many marines. So I killed the fourth. Now I just get a few tempest and the game is is over. I'm actually too gas starved for that. Let's get a war prism. Leave an adept at each base. Chrono the Tempests, Chrono the Upgrades, I finally have Blink, my Observer could be better position, whoops I don't want to move that, get some cannons here in case of counterattack, start transferring this because it's going to mind out, so I know I'm floating quite a lot but there's not much, like I couldn't max out on, on um, I couldn't max out on Adepts but they wouldn't do much for me. We'll harass with that. What happened to my Oracle? It's still alive. So let's use it. Let's add a second Robo because it's good. I'll key the Tempests. Make another Immortal. So like when people like... It's the quickest way to be criticized when you stream. Is when people ask or like... Yeah, you were floating. You should have added a lot of gates. Right now, I have... Right now I have 12 gates. I don't need much more than that. Like a fifth static defense will be much more useful than going up to like 20 gates, for example. And he tapped out. So, like, I was wrecking his SCV line. He wasn't able to add a, f a fourth. And he had a lot of Marines. He, we were even on upgrades. So he did that pretty well. And uh, one thing that I was maybe missing was a second war prism. Or maybe a pylon and a gate to be able to warp in quickly. And then obviously taking care of my economy over here, that wasn't uh, camera, that wasn't camera dot keyed. 
leave a Templar. Try to always leave a Templar at a new base. And then... Uh, then yeah, that game was really smooth. That game was really smooth after I recovered from uh, grabbing an early third. I usually don't grab an early third. So, uh, like, Oracle into a quick third is not a build I do very often. Oh, nice. So, from from silver to diamond and one episode. Um, with a total of five wins. What was the, sec the second to last game? It's a PvP, right? PvP on Dusk Tower. PvP, uh, Proxy, 3-Gate, Cheese. And then this one was a PvT. Oracle into quick third, uh, into into Phoenix, into standard macro. So your bread and butter in PVT is Blink Stalker, Adept Speed, Immortal Storm, into Tempests. You can do into Colossus sometimes if you feel like it, but usually what I just said is like the best way to go about it. Um, but yeah, guys, I hope you really enjoyed it. This is going to be on my YouTube if you're watching the stream. If you're watching the YouTube, this was played on my uh, stream. I'm really sorry for the first part being laggy. It, it actually made me quite upset. I hope you guys still enjoy the quality of it. If you have any questions on YouTube, feel free to ask. I always try to answer every single question. That's a strategy question. Try to help you guys learn as much as possible. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's it. Thank you again. And have a good time. All right, so